Good morning everyone and welcome to Naresh IT. Today's topic is introductions to generative AI with PyTorch. As world produced more unstructured data, for example text, image, video, audio, speech. So text when we chart with anyone the text data produced. And the similarly image, video, audio, speech, everything. So generative AI is type of artificial intelligence that uses algorithms and neural network to create new content from existing data. For example, if I inform a fourth grade kid to draw a cat image or dog image, so he's not accurate. But when he go to fifth grade, his draw is little accurate. But when he go to sixth grade, his cat and images are very much clear. So that means his brain is trained based on different different content. Similarly, generative AI learns patterns from training data and generate new unique outputs. So it can produce various types of content including text and image. Next, what are the image generative AI models? We have three models. So the first one image generative AI models and we build these models with GANs and VA and second text generative AI models which is very popular large language models OpenAI GPTs and this is also called transformer models and Google Bird it was before but now it changed to Palm and Meta Llama 2 and all those things. So text to image generating models like DALI, Midjourney and Stable Diffusion. So three type of generative AI based Gen AI model, second image based Gen AI model, the third one multi model which is combination of text and image. So when you work with, I hope everybody work with Photoshop when you mention this prompt and when you generate, so it create this images and similarly stable diffusion when you enter a text to the prompt uh, this is the output we generate like in using help of stable diffusion dally mid journey and we have plenty more things like that next one so what are the roadmaps and how what are the topics i cover in this playlist the first one introductions to generative ai deep learning pytorch installations Second, PyTorch basics, how to create a tensor, what are the reshaping, the three deep learning concepts, because without deep learning, you never build Gen AI models. So everybody must need to understood how the neural network works, what are the activation functions, what, what optimizes does and what are the loss functions we have. And this is all concepts also connected to machine learning. So that's what if you want to enroll this course please come back and attend the sessions through offline in Narish IT we do provide a offline sessions lab sessions from morning time to evening time both for offline team and online team all right guys with very minimum fee structure the fourth one creating basic neural network with PyTorch and also we do one project flight fare predictions using ANN with PyTorch the fifth one as we work with images so you must need to learn one library and let's introductions to computer vision sixth one computer vision tools in PyTorch and OpenCV seventh introductions to CNN in PyTorch project two plan disease detections using CNN with PyTorch eighth point once we covered PyTorch and computer vision then we build GANs this is what generative AI models using GANs we build Gen AI model what are the type of GANs and how they work and what are the applications and we done one pro project handwritten digit generations using PyTorch GAN similarly 10th point DC GAN real stick face generations W GAN high quality artwork generations, C GAN conditional image generations, Pix to Pix GAN image to image translations, Style GAN generating artist images with Style GAN, and introductions to VAE variational auto encoder and image generation using VAE. And after that, I will give you one practical about how to create text to image in using help of prompt and text to video as well next powerful library to build this model is three so deep learning pytorch 
because when we work with neural network so we work with pythons see when tensorflow also we have a framework but when we work with large data pythons handles are very good for those kind of data set and second computer vision whether you work with open cv and yellow but i choose open cv so that every non technical people can understand easily for this one third one gans we 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 learn gans using pythons and this is three powerful libraries which we build in this practical next one what is pytorch pytorch is an open source machine learning library used for developing and training neural network based deep learning models pytorch is widely used in research and development of artificial intelligence applications including natural language processing computer vision and deep learning so pytorch is a popular open source machine learning library was primarily developed by meta research lab which is fair so this pytorch is the family of meta which was before it was facebook it was first released on 2016 october and later it gained widespread adoptions due to its flexibility dynamic computations graph and ease of use so many researchers developers work in deep learning technique for prototyping experimenting implementing state of the art deep learning models so the term what is mean by state of art because you heard these terms a lot of everywhere so many places you heard about the term sota which is state of the art in the context of deep learning refers to current best performing models or techniques for solving specific task within the field so these models often achieve superior performance terms of so when you work with pytorch you get more accuracy efficiency and other relevant metrics compared to previous methods so pytorch provides seamless gpu support so the very good part of the pytorch is it works with the gpu very well so when we talk about gpu so we have a concepts called cuda integrations so i'll explain all the cuda all those things pytorch uses core python concepts like classes structure and conditional loops you can also build model with tensorflow but pytorch is best library for all advanced model so let's discuss and i'm not getting to deep at this moment but let's see which companies are using pytorch a lot the first one is facebook tesla nvidia google microsoft uber and open ai so top tech companies are use pytorch a lot for large models for pre trained data because all these this library we can integrate with the pytorch gpu so these are the top tech companies are used to pytorch library these are just a few example but pytorch popularity extend across wide range of industries and companies due to its flexibility next what is ide a user can write the code so it provide tools to writing and editing source code like syntax highlighting code completions so i hope everybody know about ide i don't get into deep very simple ide means it is a software where a user can type and machines can understand and machines can acknowledge that whether it is a code whether it is debugging uh, whether it is error all the kind of things guys so very good for code editor compiler debugger build automations version control integrations so popular ide is vs code so normally we use when we build pytorch cpu i use vs code and when we work for gpu we work google collab cuda stands for compute unified device architecture it is a parallel computing platform and application programming interface like api model created by nvidia so uh cuda enables developer to computations power gpu graphics processing unit for general purpose processing task so cuda enable gpu cuda toolkit cuda runtime api cuda is widely used in various field including scientific computing machine learning and computer vision and more it allows developers to accelerate their applications by leveraging massively parallel architectures of gpu so when you work with these models you must run pytorch cuda in gpu not in cpu because i will give you the test case what's going to happen when you work with gpu so let's go ahead and start the installations of the pytorch pytorch 
it implies python plus torch we install torch library in python that's what we called as pytorch